Really? No, not for us. I who rules this mountain with a gilded fist. I who dares to laugh at fate and challenge God. I who can avoid IP and user bans with absolute impunity. I who... Wait, wait, hold on. Let me just... Confound it. What are you doing here, Steve? Where's the other one? You know, glowing mecha explosion person or whatever she's called. I jerk my thumb over my shoulder, pointing towards the much more intense action happening on the other side of the room. Over there. And the name's Stan. Come on, I even have a name tag now. I tap the name tag Victoria gave me with my finger, and Lord Bedlam peers forward to get a better look at it. Ah, so you do. S-T-A-N. Stan. Yes, yes, I knew that. I just... <laughs> he just... <laughs> Suddenly the aforementioned action happening over my shoulder catches his eye. Wow, look at the <laughs> Is she really going to... I think she just did. It's getting pretty intense over there. Yes, but here we are in state. And that's how it's always going to be for you and I. Isn't it, Sam? <laughs> Sam. Uh, how do you mean, sir? Oh, just the story of my life. Always the vice president of brand management, never the president. Always the lone supervillain without a society, without a nemesis, even after so long. Alas, alack, I struggled and I bled. I raided grocery stores and organic juice stands. I posted mean things about superheroes on social media. And what do I have to show for it? What, I ask you? Here I stand, second fiddle in my own fortress. No, not even a fiddle. Something worse, <laughs> like a lute or a ukulele. What am I to make of this, Trevor? What am I to do? You could, um, let me go? Let you go? Yeah, just let me, you know, scooch on by you there. I'll just plug this thingy into that computer real quick and get out of your way. You won't even notice me. Ah, I see what you're doing. The reverse psychology tactic, eh? Just plucked that lesson from the old Lord Bedlam learning tree, did you? Well, you're right. The spotlight may not be on us, but we should still make the best of it. Our time will come one day, Sean. Our time will come. Well, not yours, of course, but figuratively speaking. No, no reverse psychology. I was really just trying to get by. And I just told you my name is Stan. You read the name tag and everything. Ah, of course, Stan. I thought it was you. <laughs> I just misread your tag, that's all. Oh, boy. You should really work on that handwriting. But very well then, Stan. Let's take it from the top, shall we? <clears throat> ah, at long last, you have arrived. My greatest nemesis, Stan. <laughs> and now it is down to you, and it is down to I. Just as it always has been. Just as it always will be, until today, because today, you shall finally taste defeat, and then it will just be down to I, not you, not you at all. Now come forth, you traitorous scum, you cowardly turncoat, you jumping Judas. Come forth and face your destiny. Come forth and experience chaos. Embrace pandemonium. Behold, true, unadulterating, Bedlam! Ugh, fine. <laughs> Excellent! Then let us begin, for the first time and the last. I don't know what to do. Uh... <laughs> No, let us end it, fiend. Uh, yeah. No, let us end it, fiend, for now and for all time. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Embrace the drama of the moment, Stan. But first, feast your eyes on my deadly bedlam bolts. <laughs> 
With a completely unnecessary flourish of his cape, Bedlam pulls a small taser from his hip, points it at me and fires, only for its wires to fall a yard short, where they spark pitifully. Hmm. Well, take that as a warning, foolish hero. A shot across the bow. A boop on the nose. <laughs> boop. It would be a waste to astound you with my full power right away. You see, for years I trained to control my strength. Alright, I can see this is never going to end if I just let him monologue like this. Time to go on the offensive. Maybe I could try Nova's tactic from when we escaped. Wait, what was that? Maybe I could try Nova's when we escape. Uh. <laughs> Why not? Leaping over the limp wires, the tail wires, I bounced up up and drive many straight towards Bedlam's fatal weak point. God darn it, really? Behold the oh. indestructible power. He he did say that. Man, I'm not doing good I on this. Told you, such paltry tactics will oh. defeat me. Well, not anymore. Not paying attention. It's really something, isn't it? Yes. Madam Scorpion got me a discount at the Scorpion Group's online outlet. I can even return it in a month for a full <laughs> refund. Why would any store accept refunds on a supervillain jockstrap? Damn it! Maybe if I made, if he made more sense, I'd have remembered that mention. Bullying, buying a cup earlier. Yes, I remember it now. I try shaking my out my leg as Bortle Bedlam prattles on about the coupon codes. Madam Scorpion got him. Still kind of numb, but I think I don't think I really damaged anything. Thank God I'd never be able to face Victoria if that's how I ended up letting her down. And you get free shipping if you spend over ten thousand dollars. It's really something. Ah, but I see even that doesn't impress me. Well, that is but a taste of my might. Now behold, my true, absolute power! The supervillain spreads his arms wide, cape flapping behind him. I square, I square my stance, preparing for whatever trick he's ready to pull. Another weapon, or does he actually have a hidden superpower? <laughs> what? Nope, he's just planning to throw himself at me. And because it's the last thing I expect, it sort of works. Yeah, get off of me, you nutcase! Never! I shall never surrender! Are we slap fighting? Or something was we were on the ground engaged in the lamest purplest wrestling match ever conceived and hitting each other with whatever limb is available. Ah, damn it. One of his stupid horns smacked me in the side of the head. That's it. I'm freaking biting him. I don't care how unheroic it is. But before I can follow through, someone roughly pulls us apart, tossing me aside in the process. Bah! Who dares to interrupt our duel? Who dares, I say? I do, Lord Bedlam. As Dave steps forward, I notice him wince and grab his kidney where my baton jacked him earlier. He must still be f really feeling that. Oh, oh, it's you, Daniel. Thank goodness you're here. I'm Dave, actually. Stan's supervisor. You reprimanded me earlier today. Remember? It was when you found out the traitor was in my squad. Ah, yes, of course. I remember now. Lots of things were said, but... But all is forgiven if you help me bring this backstabbing brute to his knees. What say you, Dave? Senior squad supervisor. As I scramble to my feet, I glance between Dave and Lord Bedlam. Ah, oh, crap. One of these two, I can handle them both at once. I could really be in trouble here. I say... Let's kick his gosh darn traitor ass! Yep, I'm in trouble. Dave advances from the right and Bedlam from the left. Of the two, Dave's the more dangerous, but I fought him before. I left my mark on him too. Maybe I can use that. Oh, I'm gonna have. To, yeah, my, try to hit Dave. I start to turn towards Dave. I need to deal with his raw strength, or I could get out of hand quickly. Or he can have, But how to take him out? I think. How did I beat him before? Oh gosh. That's what it was. Kidney shot. That's right, the kidney. That's where I nailed him in the last fight, and he was clutching at it earlier. One good shot and he'll go down like a bag of hammers. My mind made up, I blow past the befuddled Lord Bedlam and charge straight for Dave. Do your worst, traitor! I won't fail Lord Bedlam again! Oh, you will. In fact, I'm feeling a bit of deja vu. How about you? What does Mustard have to do with any of this? <laughs> Dijon. The taller henchman swings furiously as I step out of range, waiting for my chance. That's Dijon, buddy. I'm not your buddy! Dave lets loose with an even wilder swing, and this time I step underneath it, ready in my baton. I'll put a little mustard on this one for you if you want. With all my strength, I swing my baton right at Dave's kidney, activating my shock function. That wasn't 
everybody and go! The pain of the blow combined with the electric shock forces my former supervisor to double over and collapse to the ground, twitching involuntarily as he slips into unconsciousness. Yeah, I know. I was gonna try something about kidney beans, but ah, that wouldn't have been any good either. With a shrug, I slip my foot under Dave's baton and kick it in, up into my waiting hand. Oh, nice. Got that on the first try. <laughs> With a baton in each hand, I try out a few practice swings. A little awkward, but it should do the job. It's enough to intimidate Lord Bedlam, at least. Whoa, now. Let's just... Let's <laughs> down. All right? The supervillain starts to back away, and I stalk forward, batons in hand. Stan. Stan Lee. Stan the man. <laughs> my man. Now that I think about it... You don't have to be my nemesis. We could be pals, partners. What are you saying? Ah, no! Stop it! Stop it! What did I do? I answered by rapidly swinging both batons down on top of his helmet, beating it like a drum until he collapses in a heap. Sorry, already got one of those. What can I say? She's got a cooler helmet. Leaving my foes unconscious forms and, my, and the ashes of my henchman career behind, I race forward towards the Madam Scorpion supercomputer. Time to end this. As I near the supercomputer, I fumble around in my belt for the data drive that Victoria gave me. Come on, which pocket did I put it in? There. Briefly, I bobble the drive as another explosion rocks the room, but quickly regain my control. Oof, that too close. Imagine if that had fallen into the vent or something. Nervously, I glance over my shoulder, and the sight does little to ease my worries. Victoria is picking herself up from a small crater of shattered concrete. Her armor sparkling as she moves. Looks like those field repairs gave out. Damn it, it took too long to get past Bedlam. I need to hurry. I told you, it was just a matter of time. Patterns always form. It's and now that Oh, damn it, have, I mean to do that. I can see your future. I can hear your last scream. I can... Madam Scorpion whirls around towards the supercomputer and her eyes land on me, standing dock still, standing stock still with my hand on the blue and white data drive that I just inserted into the towering machine. Meanwhile, the data drive goes right to work at just as Victoria said it would, uploading first to the supercomputer itself and then the entire network. When it finishes, Scorpion's powers will be crippled. Oh, uh, don't let me interrupt. That sounded like a good speech. Go on. You were at the third, I can. The third one's usually the punchline for these things. Stanley, how did you... Did that incompetent windbag actually let you past him? How could that imbecile screw up such a simple, solitary task? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you should talk it over with him. <laughs> Just conduct a quick, uh... I glance at the computer's maintenance monitor, where I can see the percentage bar Nova's malware upload. Creeping slowly higher with every second. 30, maybe... 40 second performance review. A minute top? 30 seconds. Good. I can kill you in 30 seconds. With ease. And in a flash, she sets out to do exactly that, sprinting towards me at full speed with her sword trailing behind her. I start to back up frantically, reaching for a weapon as I move, but it will be far too late. Forget 30 seconds, she's going to kill me in a freaking instant. Stan, stay focused on the screen. Remember the plan. Nova rockets forward to intercept the supervillain, one arm hanging limply as she careens through the air. Despite how the fight has gone thus far, Nova starts to still make her the faster of the two. Don't you dare turn your back on me, Scorpion. We're not finished! They're on a collision course, at the very least. Scorpion will need to alter her own trajectory, but will that give the Maul enough time? Finished? You were finished the moment you got in my way. But Madame, Sc Madame Scorpion doesn't alter her trajectory. Instead, she barrels right towards the wounded superhero, and in a flurry of violent crimson slashes, she casts Victoria aside with brutal efficiency. <laughs> There's a crackle of electricity, and shards of Nova's armor clatter to the ground as it finally gives way. My blood runs cold. Nova! She can't help you, Stanley. No one can. It's over. Suddenly, a small chime sounds from the supercomputer's console. Nova's, Nova's malware upload is complete, and in place of the progress bar, the touchscreen is taken up by two large buttons. Hey, you were right. It is over. One button says network shutdown, and the other one says initiate feedback loop through Scorpions desperately reaches out to stop me. My finger is already headed towards the feedback loop. Deactivate feedback loop, and before she can reach me, it finds its mark. Damn. 
damn you! <sighs> Scorpion suddenly stops in place, like her body seems frozen. Her limbs and muscles twitch in protest, struggling to break free. No. I won't. I won't let this stop me! <sighs> damn it! No, I won't! And then, she, and then, despite her body's apparent screams for protest, she takes a single lurking step forward. Out of instinct, I immediately raise her two steps backwards. <laughs> oh crap, I thought I was supposed to put her down for an account. What do I do if it doesn't work? I barely survived the first time, and now she's pissed. No worse. She, no worse. She's laughing. Either she's lost it, or her anger swung all the way back into delirious glee, which seems fi infin infinitely worse. Do, do you know what this feels like? It's like you just jammed a thousand needles into my brain. And now, they've started drilling. Ouchie. Pain? I can handle pain. I can live and breathe it. This is nothing. Nothing. Okay. Another step forward from her. Two more backwards from me. And then suddenly, throws her sword. Not towards me, but at the computer. The blade spins wildly through the air in a crimson blur and finds Smart Cleveland right through the machine with ease. Ugh, we're not doing too well. Again. With a groan of protest, the supercomputer shuts down. And as its humming stops and its touchscreen flickers and dies, Scorpion lets out a sigh of relief. Freaking great. I wouldn't be willing to sacrifice this? I can build another. And another. As many as necessary. But, but you can't access your network now. And your sword. And? What does it matter? Do you honestly think I need my powers or a weapon to kill you, Stanley? Perhaps your friend, but no. Not even her. She's far too soft. If she'd increased the intensity on that feedback loop of hers, I may not be standing right now. But she couldn't risk causing any permanent damage. She can't play the game to win. She lacks the stomach for it. That's why I'm still standing. And your new lover is just a corpse in a pile of scrap metal. You just never learn. Ooh. You're still too damn arrogant. From out of nowhere, Victoria soars into view, engines roaring as she crashes into Madame Scorpion. I'm the furthest thing from dead. With the force of a train, the pair slam into the wall of the chamber, but it's Scorpion who takes the brunt of it, letting out a gasp of pain even as she claws at Victoria's damaged armor. For now, but, but not much longer. That shell is giving out. This is suicide! Scorpion has a point, Shiny Nova's armor is being torn apart at the seams. Sparks and bits of metal trail in Victoria's wake as brightly as the burn from the thrust her thrusters. The damage it took from Madame Scorpion's combined with the strain she's putting on it right now, it won't last long, and it could take Victoria with it. Yet, still, Victoria doesn't let up. Selfish people like you! You never understand! You're willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to win! Everything except yourself! That's the only cause you care about! Somehow, Nova Starsters burn even hotter, and she pushes onward, pressing Madame Scorpion into the stone wall of the chamber and using her body to bulldoze a road through its hard stone walls. Stone debris fall on the, to the ground alongside bits of metal as Madame Scorpion struggles to free herself, desperately clawing, clawing at her assailant and prying the gaps in their armor. But I care about more than just women. I care about every life you've ruined, and every line you've crossed, all in the name of your own ambition! And yeah, I care about my weird henchman boyfriend. <laughs> hey. So I'll give everything to stop you, even if it kills me. Whatever it takes. Because as long as even a scrap of this armor is working, I'm still Shining Nova. And Shining Nova can do anything! With deadly velocity, both superhero and supervillains slam into the dor dormant supercomputer, and the ensuing explosion sends me flying backwards. Coughing and waving away at the smoke, I peel myself off the ground and try to find my feet. I couldn't fully make out what happened, and I don't see either of them. No, 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 don't tell me. 
Nova! <coughs> Nova! I stumble forward, nearly tripping over a piece of debris. I still can't make anything out. No, wait. Over there. Nova! What's up? <laughs> With ginger steps, Victoria emerges from the wreckage of the supercomputer. What's left of her mangled armor falling off at her as she goes. Sparks from the decimated machine and her own shredded armor dance around her, and in this moment, they look as beautiful as the stars we flew beneath last night. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I was just having a moment, I think. You're incredible, you know that? Asking if I'm okay after what you just pulled? I mean, you dive bomb into a supercomputer and you ask if I'm okay. Really? Yeah, really. I meant what I said, you know. I really do care about my weird henchman boyfriend. And I care about my crazy superhero girlfriend. Hell of a time to put a label on this thing, by the way. <laughs> Why is that? Having second thoughts? Not a chance. You just have a flair for the dramatic, that's all. But please don't pull the self-sacrifice lever every time we hit a milestone, all right? Hey, babe, it's our anniversary, so I'm just going to dive bomb this lizard monster <laughs> into an oil tanker to recreate our first date. See you at dinner, hopefully. Sorry, that's part of the deal. As a superhero, I have to pull at least one stunt like that a month. It's contractual. Though, admittedly, that one was a little dicey. She pauses to rip off a piece of her armor that's barely clinging on, and tosses it aside. As it happens, it lands right in front of a pool of jet black hair belonging to an unconscious Madam Scorpion. I'd say it worked out, though. Activating that feedback loop really helped. Without it, she may have had a shot at overpowering me. That was a good call. You had a lot of good calls today, actually. And a lot of bad ones, too. Honestly, I think you're really cut out for the superhero thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're screwing with me, right? Not at all. I'm being serious. But we can go over all of that later. For now, just get her secured and get the hell out of here. I've seen enough of these walls to last a lifetime. No kidding. You and me both. You and me both. Oh yeah, I, I know you said that. <laughs> Why would it come up again? <laughs> oh, issue nine. Eight months later. Okay, we're gonna stop. I think. Yes, we're stopping. This has been t again another two. Oh, there's that alarm again. Hate the sound of that thing. Oh, why did I set this alarm so early? Who knows? Maybe this will be a short one, but I'm done. This was two episodes again. <sighs> they really make them long. These issues should be much shorter. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. That was fun. That was... Man, I made a lot of bad mistakes. I should have known about the crotch thing. Man, I knew it. I really looked at that guy. I remembered. Nope, I didn't listen to myself. Mm, stupid me. Anyways, <laughs> thanks very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you can. Subscribe, follow. Do all those awesome things to help me, and I do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I, this game is pretty fun, I have to admit. Even though you're just like... Not much action, it's all a story, but it's still pretty cool. I really like it. So I hope to see you guys here again on another episode of Henchman Story. Bye bye.